Hello, it's Mary Lou here. How are you doing? I hope you're faring well through all of this that we've been going through. I have a couple of journals to share with you, so I'm just going to jump right in. Um, I made them both with the Stamperia paper pad. I used one pad to make both journals. They are both eight by five and a half. They have half inch, one and, excuse me, one and a half inch spines. There's the backs. This is, um, this is all the Stamperia paper. I did cut this out of one of the sheets and just, I thought it would be beautiful on there with just in the foreground. So there's that. I hand dyed all the ribbon that's used in its seam binding. And it's in beautiful, I used three different colors of sprays and one of, and there were Lindy sprays and one of them had some sparkle and shine in it. So you'll see some light green, some brown, some darker green. Anyway, I'm going to start, this one's called Lake of the Woods and this one's called The Forest. So I'm going to start with the Lake of the Woods. Um, each has 60 plus, 64, something like that pages, two signatures. Let's get inside. Um, eyelets for closure. Okay, the inside cover um, here has a pocket that kind of disappears into it other than the, the edging of um, ink I did. Um, here's one of the journal cards. And what's nice about this kit on the back side of it, there's room to journal and it's a beautiful area. Um, here's a fussy cut squirrel from the paper collection and then bits and pieces and the story begins. They go there. I did put some crocheted lace here and there through it. Not heavy. These are real different for me. Not as girly as I normally do, but when I saw these pads... And I'll put the name of the shop where I buy them because she always gives me Julie gives me really good service and and some of the and the charms that I used in here, most of them are from her shop. Isn't that beautiful? And then see you've got room on the back. See, and then now this one was just from a page, and so I used painter's masking tape. And you can still see through a little bit, so you see some of the texture of the paper that was on the other side of this image. This book belongs to. Okay. And over here in this pocket, on the it's parchment, so I put a, a owl there. There's just a, a piece of cardstock. I used almost the entire. Um, I mean, I I meant to show you, but I. I had only scraps left by the time I finished both these. Here's an envelope from Laura's shop. Nope, I don't know, maybe. Um, and there's a, a squirrel there in the in the forest, of course. Some more of that. I did do um, some poems and sayings here and there. There's a little, oh gosh, what do you call them? Oh, brain dead. Yeah, you know. Now I did some stamping. Here's some painter's masking tape in green. A belly band with a very large tag. And the story begins. Did I do that on two? Ah, oh, I did. Because one of these goes in the other journal and I'll figure that out. Anyway, there's a, a bird. Um, looks like a falcon. And then just a piece from the paper pack. Some kind of bird of prey. There's Edith Holden page and there's a, a grid paper. And you flip it over. And here's a squirrel from Julie's shop. And you flip. This is one of those little white envelopes from Laura's shop. And I can put Laura's shop down below for you. I gave you something to journal on there. And there's a, a tag or a card that fits in there. So you can journal here. Flip it over. You got more journal space there. Then you have that and more journal space back there. So all this hidden and interactive pieces within the journal itself. Okay, some birds on a branch. And this is some of my coffee dyed paper that I made into a digital kit. This that you're seeing. Okay, here's a, 
a paper clip that I, I I did some bending to it and added some seam binding. This flips open, so if you want to journal in there, you can. If not, you can glue it down. And inside this, I took a, a this was a four-piece time card. And rather than just use it as one piece, I cut it into sections and then put some beautiful uh, artwork on, on them. And you've still got plenty of room for journaling. There's a beautiful deer, and there's back journal spot, and then there's a tag, and they all fasten here. Okay, there's a boar, a wild boar, take note, lined paper. Here's an Edith, the other side of the Edith Holden page with a, a bird here, and some plants there. Here's a little envelope. With, and I didn't put anything in any of the envelopes, even the other one I showed you. So this one is things that you can put, you can put things into these. Rather than cramming this whole journal, I decided, well, I'll do a little less expensive one to sell. Um, and, and then you can fill it, because so, there's lots of room in there still. High priority. The other side of that. A pine cone. Another large card with an owl on it lots of room to journal there you open this up this is the the title of the of the paper pad i used and so you've got journaling in there more journaling here poem by martin luther there's a bear here's a little side tuck right here with some lace on it and in it there's some owls there's a a bear, natural vibes, and then here, oh, and it's got the paper on the back so you can journal on it, the masking paper, and there's another image from the kit, the, uh, not kit, from the paper pad, ah, more lace, and that's the end of signature one, and so you can see there's still lots of room in here that you can add more things. Okay, this one is going more into the lake, or rivers, it could be a river too, but I said lake. Isn't that beautiful there's a fishy so you got room to journal back there and this I better speed up I'll never get this done huh fish here here's a Donnelly flip and in this pocket there's two cards that you can journal on the back of this yeah there you go I don't know which way it goes but there you go and then here it's another fish and another fish, and it's on the back of the another piece of an alterations tag and journal there. Remember this, and there's some ledger paper. There's a card that you can journal on. And there's just a piece of that I had left over, so I stuck it in there. And then sacred geometry, and there's room to journal back there. More lined paper. There's another one of those envelopes inside. Is a card that just sticks in that way so that you have that pretty picture in the window. And there's some lace and I did some fussy cutting. And here's a fish from Julie's shop. And it's on um, read it, um, no, Edith Holden page. On the back side I made a little tuck spot. And um, there's a man fishing. No fly fishing. There's some notes. And now I put a huge envelope in in the journal of in one in each of those journals. There's one in one of the signatures. It's made out of the masking paper, so I lined part of it to give it a little more heft. Here's another pocket with a card, and then there's this one. Another fly fisherman. The other side of the Edith Holden, more lined paper. Here's another um, couple of pockets here. Back here is an otter, and you can journal on that. And then there's just a tag or card. And then here's this one that's journaling on the back. Silence speaks when words can't. A fitty, a fish. My grandkids used to call them fitties. 
did some stamping and some more. There's a lady fly fisherman. Or fish, she might just be fishing. I can't tell if it's fly. The little fish I cut out and glued on the edge there. And there's a deer envelope. And again, I didn't put anything in it so that you can. And then here's another little corner where there's a oh, badger. Is that a badger? I can't remember. A wolverine. It's a wolverine. And no, it's not Hugh Jackman, but it's a wolverine. Hugh Jackman would be prettier to look at, wouldn't he? <laughs> anyway, there's another squirrel. And you can journal all over those. And then here's the back covers. And in this pocket, again, you can see it blends in. There's a little tiny tag from Laura's shop. A little piece of the trees. And there's another owl. Okay, that's that one. That's Lake of the Woods. Now let's look at Forest. All the same stats as on the other one. And I will put all of that down below. Here's the inside of this one. And so it was the same pad, but I used it different way. So this one's different. <laughs> it's just got different things in it. There's a deer. There's a moose on this book belongs to. And one of those tags coming over here and something else is going to come back over to this to that one. So isn't that a beautiful scene? Inside here is a, a little tuck. And that background something. I used that other card. There's a cardinal. There's a hedgehog. That's what it is, hedgehog. It came to me. Look at how much room you have to journal there. So I like that. There's another, there's a raccoon and a poem. And then here's a pocket with a bear. And there's another deer, and you can journal back there. Here's a raccoon. Journal back there and on front, too, if you want to. If you want to. Another prickly guy. Then there's a daily planters, planner, so you can do journaling on that and the rhodia paper here. There's a large tag. It's plain on the back, so that may be the one I can switch over. So, not much will change. Okay, here's a CD cover that I covered with the painter's masking tape. Did some fussy cutting here and here. Put some lace. Flip it over. And you can pull out this large, maybe, if I don't cramp it, that you can journal on. Isn't that cool? And then I did some fussy cuttings. You can see the leaf right there. If I can get this back in. Let's see. Um, leaf and then some writing space there. And more here. Mark, um, Edith Holden and I fussy cut this fox from the kit. So he's on here too. There's your envelope. There's another, the other side of the Edith Holden, another envelope, and I just, it's empty, as I said, so you can fill it with stuff. Here's another, um, here's another little flip out that I created. This one has a bear on it. I don't know if you can see it. It's tiny, tiny little bear. Beautiful tree. On this side, there's a, make sure you can see it. There's a deer, and in here I tucked a couple of, cards. I hope I've been in frame. There's a side pocket and I put some little foxes on there. And there's a raccoon and a squirrel and a bird in a tree in the woods. And you could journal on all of them. Pretty much. Might have to use a white marker on the, the brown paper. Or a jelly pen. Notes, the other side of that. There's another side pocket, some lace on it. There's another one. There's a little, a, a fox. Yes, a fox. So you've got another empty envelope. There's a squirrel. So there's a large card to journal on. Some grid paper and some more parchment. There's a squirrel. There's another bear that I fussy cut and made into a corner tuck. Isn't that a pretty image? And look at that to journal on there. We got that one. Whoops. Look at this beautiful bird. 
And then here's the large fox with more journal space there. That's the end of the first um, signature, but there's again that side so beautiful. Then this has some berries and some woods on it, so it's pretty. And then look at that page. Isn't that pretty with the green and then the bird up here? Um, and there you have the whole scene. I gave you the whole page and then cut these out too. Um, here I took an image and um, it was from an Edith Holden. So I gave you the name of it too. A song thrush with its young. And there's some turkeys and a deer. Over here. Stay in there. Isn't that pretty? There's a a card and I've put some paper on there so you can journal on it. There's yeah, and then there's an envelope with birds. So there's lots of places to put things and little secret things. There's a pocket and there's a a butterfly on that one. I did some fussy cutting there for that card. There's that bird and some places to journal. I had an extra squirrel so I just thought I'd put him on one of these pages. I made you some journaling space here that I think you could write on with a pen or, or a marker. And I just fussy cut a bird foot there. Today I will. Here's another one of those flaps that you can glue shut and make a pocket out of it or just leave it like that sitting journal in it. There's some more squirrels and some berries and the paper clip. That's rhodia paper with the dots. There's the other side of that. Edith Holden and then there's some more of the painter's masking tape, uh, paper. There's a side pocket, some lace. There's this of the, the foxes again, little foxes. And then there's another journal card and the birds up there. And some beautiful deer. There's a pocket with an acorn and you can see a wolf there. And a bird flying in the air. And there's another wolf and the berries. And this is the last page of the second journal um, signature with beautiful imagery and then again you can take this out and it just kind of disappears there's a raccoon poking his little head out of a tree isn't that cute and then um this is a tag from laura's shop and i fussy cut a little leaf to put on there so that's that one so this one is the forest and this one is Lake of the Woods. They will both be available in my, on my website. The link will be down below. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. If you're not already a subby, I hope you'll subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Have a great day. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And God bless you. Bye-bye now.